Hello and welcome back to the Nasty Metal or Pudoku Channel here at YouTube and welcome to another Wednesday review. Today I will be reviewing the debut full length album from Swedish heavy metal band Viral and it is self titled and it was released independently on both CD and digitally on their Bandcamp page. So on January 8th of this year. So. Uh, again, Viral, uh, they are Swedish, I think I might have uh, mentioned that anyways, uh, based out of uh, Likaping Osturgen, I probably fucked some of their uh, state up, which is again, my apologies. Again, they're based out of there and they were formed all the way in 2012 and in 2016, they released their debut demo, but here in 2021, we have their debut full length album. So. Without further ado, let's get into my thoughts and review of the self-titled debut album from Viral. Okay, so uh, before I really get into any of my thoughts on this release, let's do a track listing rundown. We got about 9 songs here and it all clocks in at 40 minutes and 46 seconds. So, these 9 songs are Scarred, Going Down, Machine. Gallows, Gonna Lose It, Viral, um, Mephorius, Solo's Tale, or is it, yeah, or Solo's Tale, I think is actually titled, and then finally, Devil's Clockwork. So there's your nine songs there. So, as far as my thoughts, you know, again, uh, when I, I've given this about two listens at, at least was it two or three listens uh, You know what it's been two listens, and I really got to say this isn't too bad for a debut full-length album I've seen I've actually know somebody who's actually somewhat make complaints about some of the the way the album sounded, especially when it comes to, to the uh, the vocals which is uh, again all uh, provided by singer Albin Forsell and it I think a lot of this, I feel, is a little bit unfair because musically, again, it, it's not the most amazing thing. Again, it, it's fine, um, again, galloping, sort of heavy power metal in a way. Again, I, I would say more closer to like a, a very like 90s era uh, European power metal or at least their uh, Scandinavian in, in the, the same vein as like either Halloween or Gamma Ray. Or those kind of bands, you know, it, it, it's very galloping. It has that sort of uh, very, again, power metal sound to it. But at the same time, it's not bad either. But, uh, but still, this is their debut full-length album. I mean, all right, some will say, well, this is a follow-up to their again to a, a debut demo. But again, even back back in the 1980s, when bands released demos, even then, you can tell that uh, there's at least a lot of potential there. And when they do release their full-length album, sometimes, again, they, they might end up hitting something out of the park. Or sometimes, they may not always. I think it ends up being the case with, uh, with Viral. I mean, uh, you can't really expect every single uh, band to hit it out of the park with, with a debut album. You know, you have to at least expect them to progress even for, you know further and forward with each release and I think this is something I think you have to expect with viral you just have to kind of uh, uh, at least give this band some time and I mean uh, the say though uh, back on to again Albin Forsell he's a he's he's got a fine he's not the uh, he's not a bad singer is what I'm trying to get at he's not bad uh, I mean he's no Bruce Dickinson he's no um, Rob Halford he's no Ronnie James Dio but at the same time He's not even most uh, of, I, I don't want, like to talk down to a lot of the new wave or traditional heavy metal bands, but there's some new wave or traditional heavy metal bands who have vocals that may not always be what you want those singers to, or at least what you expect from some of those singers. You expect something a little bit more. So I think compared to that, he's got a fine, he, he, he's an alright voice, he's a little bit rough a, a, around the edges. But he still is able to hit some certain notes that are not too bad as well. Again, I th if anything, he, he's a, like a more rougher Blaze Bailey. And that, that's all I t 
tend to get from. And again, I know that to some people that might be a bit of a turnoff. But I think that's what I get. It's like a, a, a very rough sounding Blaze Bailey was singing more European power metal in the vein of like Halloween and Gamma Ray. Is what I ten, uh, tend to get from this. Or uh, maybe Primal Fear. That kind of style. And I think for what it is, it's fine. I think it works to it. Again, though, the only... Whatever I have, if let's say when it comes to complaints on here, is that not everything is is completely standout-ish in terms of some of the songs, which is one of the reasons why I don't have very many standout songs even written down. It's because... There's, you don't really get a whole lot of that. I mean, every, every of these songs, uh, uh, most of these songs are fine. Just that not really one of them really stands out at me. Where I was like, okay, that's a really good fucking track. Everything er, it tends to really blend in, but that's not really a bad thing. It just means the album is pretty consistent from at least beginning to end. But at the same time, it's not really at any sort of uh, a level. But that's what you should at least ex come to expect with debut albums. You can't expect every single band to just record the next uh, Van Halen album or the next, uh, um, or even at times, Appetite for, for Destruction or whatnot. I mean, or, or even, uh, uh, I'm just uh, making com comparisons to what people consider to be great debut albums, all right? I know those are, those those are not the best examples, but I'm just using examples for like debut albums that many pe people consider to be the pinnacle of what debut albums are. The thing is, you can't expect every band to hit those kind kind of uh uh you know th those ballpark hits. You can't expect them. You can't expect any band uh you know to make a winner of a debut record. It, it's it, it sometimes it's almost impossible. You just kind of have to take it for what it is. The thing is, again, with, with a band like Viral and with this album, which I think, again, it's not bad at all. I do like some of what I hear. I think, again, after this album, you have to at least expect them to progress even further. And that, that's what I see in Viral. They got potential to putting out a really good freaking album. Here, this is just a good taste, a, a, a fine enough taste, actually, of what you're probably going to expect from Viral within the future. This again, it's a it's a solid enough debut album, but it's not you know a level or uh, material. It's just fine for what it is to give you the idea of what these guys are about, and it's fine. So you just have to appreciate it for those factors instead of trying to go and expect to something that that's gonna hit you in the freaking nuts. That's not gonna happen. I wish people would would, would quit uh, with that mindset. It's not always going to be that way. Why do people still expect uh, bands on their debut to hit everything out of the park? It's at times it's almost impossible. I mean, look at I mean, uh, uh, let's for example, let's go back to even bands like Judas Priest and Saxon and Accept. I mean, it took the, uh, those bands a few albums later to really hit their stride. Uh, Judas Priest again, Rockarola. It's not considered a classic album by any means, but it was their debut, and it definitely gave you, it, it, for what it was at, for 1974, it gave you a good idea of what these guys have, and it was, a, again, so there was a lot of potential there. Uh, Saxon, their debut album from 1979. Again, it's not really considered a classic, but at the same time, you, it, it really, for, for, it, it definitely gave you an idea of what they were going to do, except... Same thing, you again. Their classic albums ended up coming later. Uh, for Saxon, of course, uh, it came uh, with the second and third album, being Wheels of Steel and Strong on the Law. So why can't that be the case with this album? I really see this uh, with Viral. That I think after this album, you really might get to, to see them release an album that will, where they really will hit their stride. That's, I think, is what you should come to expect with it, with this band. So I feel it's it, it, there's a lot of unfairness within a lot of the responses towards some of this. I think this is a fine record. So, again, fine album, but not everything's perfect on here, but it's fine. Again, also, uh, uh, just to before I really head out, uh, I definitely do have to say... Uh, as far as, again, standouts, like I've stated, there really isn't very much standouts on here. But again, 
Uh, some of these songs are pretty good to begin with. It's just that nothing really hits me, but that doesn't necessarily mean they are bad, okay? Let, let's definitely get that across. They're not bad. It's just that some of these songs are just, at times, well, it's what they are. And that's what you should at least appreciate them for. I'll, I'll expect this band to progress with the within further uh, release. So, there you go. There's my thoughts on the debut full-length album from Viral. And as far as my rating, it's a 7.95 out of 10. Alright, uh, so... Again, it's, this is not a bad album by any means. It, uh, again, uh, that might that's probably the lowest I'm going to give it. But it's still pretty high. It's still high for, for, for at least this. I mean, I know I've given debut albums a little bit higher score. This one, again, I don't fault this at all to, to, to the band. Alright, this really isn't... It, it's just... I expect... Uh, with, with a band like this, I expect them to really progress... With further releases so again I see a lot of potential in uh, in, in this band all right I'm really one I, I like to see that I'm a very uh, diplomatic kind of guy I really want want to see things a uh, pretty I, I want to see things uh, succeed instead of trying to just go on and, and uh, blow everything off at the front from the beginning I don't want to be, be that kind of guy sometimes I can be with, with certain other artists but with viral I feel since there's some pretty again some decent stuff here I think again it, it's a very solid heavy metal album for what it is so I I really kind of, kind of uh, can see that with the each subsequent release they're obviously are gonna tighten up more of their songwriting they're gonna tighten up more of their uh, uh, the, con the, the construction they're gonna tighten up every bit of their musicianship and so on that I think the running is definitely going to progress even further. But for this debut album, I think they did they did a fine job getting the uh, at least their sound across to at least the listeners, and that's the, uh, why I feel that people should at least appreciate uh, for what that is instead of just looking at it with, with a bit of a, uh, a bit, bit of too uh, close-minded uh, uh, feel. All right, that, that's the way that I am here. So if this is though though if you think this sounds like something you might want to check out because again I feel you should at least give these guys at least a bit of a chance so I will leave you a link to their Bandcamp page where you can listen to to this album so with that I hope all of you enjoyed this is for Thrasher Sam out I'll see you all later take care everyone